Greetings in Jesus' name. I pray and hope you're doing well. This beautiful day, God has blessed us with life. So let's bless his name and give him glory to whom all glory belongs to. As you do that, let me share God's word with you. And I pray this word will bless you and encourage you. In Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, they loved not their lives unto death. I'll read that again. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their life unto death. Your darkness can one day bring someone light. Listen to me, please. Your darkness one day can bring someone light. A person who has gone through divorce or pain, maybe addiction, abuse, you know, they will have compassion and words needed for someone who is going through divorce, abuse, rape, or difficult situation because they understand them better because they have gone through it in their life. God will use your wounds to glow in the dark of somebody else's life. Your story will give them hope and encourage them to believe that they can make it. Your story is called to be an encouragement for others. Apostle Paul, known as Saul of Tarsus, watched and held the court of those stoning Stephen. And he was there when they started to stone. And the Bible says his face began to shine like an angel. He had that glow. And as they stoned him, he knelt down and cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with my sin. He could have asked, why God, why? I just stood for what was right. And now they're stoning me. But he moved from his why to forgiveness. And his glow had touched a young man who was zealous in his heart. Who was a Jewish theologian. And who only wanted to kill Christians. But Stephen's glow converted, touched him. And later was radically converted on the road to Damascus. He later wrote more than half of the New Testament saying, If God needs me to go through something that I can comfort somebody else, I will. So don't waste what you're going through and don't spend the rest of your life asking why. If the Lord let you walk through it, He will bring you out because He has a plan for your life. He's taking you through it. On five different occasions, Paul was beaten with 39 scribes, over 195 scars on his body. Later, he said, three times I was beaten with rod, one time I was stoned and left for dead, three times. See, I suffered shipwreck. I know what he's going through day and night. I thought I would die. That's what he came to a conclusion. But Paul learned to keep on praising God in his hard time. He used what he had been through to comfort others through his writing. That's why Paul wrote at the very end of his story. But we know all things work together for the good. See, all things he's encouraging us, even though he went through things. So here's the key. Let's love God and whatever may come in our life, you keep on loving, serving, following Jesus. And I'll tell you, it may look like you're losing, but you're on the winning side. You keep on praising Him if you're healthy or if you're suffering. If your loved one is sick, keep on loving them worshiping God you know what 
if they leave you even you love them you grieve over them but you keep on worshiping god and your pain what you have gone through will not be wasted wounds but it will be a healing wounds for others and they too will experience the love of god through you amen let's pray father in heaven we want to thank you we do not reject our pains we accept it and we pray let our pain shine let somebody be touched through your love we give you glory help us to shine for you help us to testify of your goodness help us to show the words o oh lord and show love compassion to them who are hurting in jesus name we pray amen 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 god bless you have a wonderful day remember jesus loves you and he cares for you